what is going on hope you guys are doing well today i'm gonna chop it up about caspa so caspa how did you take the reins and label bitcoin as just a store of value and how do you expect to fill the shoes of bitcoin i'm talking to you as a project caspa well i'm gonna give you guys all the juicy details on how caspa is taking peer-to-peer -peer currency to the next level but before i get into this video if you guys are struggling with understanding crypto and you want to learn how to 10x your gains in crypto and how to build a strong well-balanced portfolio gain some solid crypto knowledge and explore the hottest crypto projects and assure yourself that you have the confidence that it takes to be prepared for many bull runs to come make sure you guys sign up on my patreon the link is in the description and you could also stay up to date with the latest developments and projects. Make sure you don't go beyond this part of the video without smashing that subscribe button and be sure to hit that like button if you're ready to add some value to your crypto journey. So if many of you know about Caspa or you don't know about Caspa, but Caspa has essentially came into the crypto space with their guns blazing, right? This project main focus was to do something that Bitcoin could not achieve. And that was focusing in on digital cash. So Caspa doing extensive research behind Bitcoin and understanding that Bitcoin was actual, actually lacking being successful at globally trying to provide digital cash bitcoin struggled and to that point caspa essentially came in seeing that struggle that bitcoin was trying to achieve and essentially solve the problems that bitcoin had so they basically came in by using new protocols essentially providing scalability security and decentralization which enabled caspa to function as a efficient digital cash and they did it fast right they did it quick and they did it with uh, you know, inexpensive peer-to-peer -peer transactions uh, using global scales and accomplishing what Satoshi Nakamoto's original vision was for Bitcoin. And that was for Bitcoin to be able to be a crypto digital cash system. But instead, Casper put Bitcoin in that store of value position because essentially Bitcoin couldn't meet up to the demands of being a really reliable source of uh, digital cash so that's why they created bitcoin cash and that was not as successful as they hoped but caspa comes in and caspa starts to set the standard for crypto digital cash all right so going into that caspa essentially achieved the core goals of peer-to-peer -peer digital cash and everyday transaction everyday transactions that were essentially far better than what bitcoin had while bitcoin you know, also having um, a superior design and essentially what Casper did was come in and overrule Bitcoin. And also they took some of flaws from Ethereum in certain areas, you know, like Bitcoin. Um, essentially what Casper does is they have a fixed supply, right? So they created scarcity, which is something that Ethereum doesn't have. So to Casper's point, they have the scarcity, right? So that attracts also not only digital cash um, benefits, but they have a store of value for the long term of their holdings. So therefore, Caspa combines the strength of being digital cash for payments with the strength of being digital gold as well. And it is a secure store of value. So essentially, it's like a win win for Caspa because they came in hard saying that not only are we going to solve a problem for Bitcoin, um, but we're also going to solve a problem for Ethereum because we're doing the same thing as Bitcoin and Ethereum. And at the same time, we're one up from Bitcoin because we created digital cash and we're one up from Ethereum because we created a, a store of value for the coin, which is the scarcity at a max supply. So let's get into some of their blockchain technology. So when it comes to the blockchain side of things, um, Caspa is essentially a proof of work which is essentially what Bitcoin is, a proof of work, uh, cryptocurrency. But what Caspa introduced was something called a ghost DAG protocol. So unlike traditional blockchains, the ghost DAG does not orphan blocks created in parallel, but rather allows them to coexist 
and orders them in consensus. So the Cas Caspel blockchain is actually a block DAG. So this generalization of Nakamoto consensus allows for secure operation while maintaining very high block rates, currently one block per second aiming for 10 seconds per block, dreaming of 100 seconds per block, and minuscule confirmation times dominated by the internet latency. So Caspa is unique in its ability to support high block rates while maintaining the level of security offered by the proof of work environment. So Caspa's current mainnet operates at one block per second. Down the road, core developers and researchers will work on stretching that block uh, per second. So I think essentially what they're trying to do is reach you know, their capability limits to 10 or even 100 blocks per second. And I believe they could do this because with the value that Caspa is going to gain off of just alone the way that they've set up this project, they're going to gain a lot of value into the project to help build for the future of the product project. So I think Caspa is like one of those sleepers that not too many people know about and it's starting to pick up some traction. So I think it's a good thing that Caspa gets some type of recognition before we get into this bull run. And once the money starts to flow into this project, investors get in, they're going to understand what type of value this thing, this project brings. And what's going to happen is Caspa is going to end up eventually moving on up the ladder more and more and more efficiently based on just what they got set up in their protocol and just their blockchain alone. So another thing to mention is that Caspa recently unveiled another significant advancement in their performance. And this was a meme pool or mempool, however you want to look at the term, but it's essentially a term uh, referring to temporary holding space for unconfirmed transactions. So the new, the new design, the new mempool design or mempool design can now manage essentially a high frequency of 10 bytes per second on the network. So even with saturated um, and hundreds and hundreds of thousands of pending transactions, the mempool then underwent a transformation. So large operations were fragmented into smaller and more manageable tasks allowing many to run concurrently additionally the internal algorithms and the meme pool received significant overhauls for improved efficiency so not only did caspa solve digital cash problem it's upgraded its algorithm performance and created scarcity in the supply of the token pushing the value towards a path of success now, what that does is put constraint on Bitcoin because Bitcoin was once, you know, one of those projects that not too many were developing similar to. And Caspa actually made that happen and come to real, realism that they could actually compete with Bitcoin. So I really haven't seen no other project like this one. If you guys got value out of this, make sure you guys, you know, like and subscribe. And if you want to go to that next step in crypto and you really want to supercharge your crypto investments and find answers to all your crypto challenges, do you want to uncover hidden gems in the altcoin world? Join my Patreon community and gain exclusive access into depth, analysts, and investment strategies inside to promising altcoins. We can navigate the crypto market together and build a strong portfolio and ride the upcoming bull run to financial success. Don't miss out, guys. Make sure you guys join today. The link is in the description. So if you want to improve your lifestyle, your portfolio, or just become a better crypto investor, jump into the Patreon, guys. I really appreciate it. Make sure you guys hit that like button. Make sure you guys subscribe to Run My Crypto. Appreciate it. I just try to bring you projects that I think are going to be successful and continue dropping them on this channel, guys. Thank you so much. Again, this is not financial advice. This is just my personal opinion on things. Appreciate you. Take care and be blessed.